In this tough economy, the word free is taking on extra value, and freegans are cashing in on it. The supermarket has put this food out because the evening is over, and they do this every single night. They clear their shelves and they reorder. On a late December night, about a dozen New Yorkers brave the cold to rummage through a supermarket's trash where they find fruit, bread, packaged foods, and more. I have bagel bags for this, clean bags, since they don't come in their own package. We could come back here any other night and see about the same amount of food, and we could go to any other supermarket in Manhattan and see incomparable amounts of food. Today is December 29th, 2008. This is dated... May 5th, 2009, and I reckon it's in the garbage because it was dented, not because the food is bad. As this freegan trash tour winds through Manhattan's east side, the food piles up as the freegans try to make a point about a wasteful society. There's no reason why a bagel should be in the garbage the day it's made. We walked just two blocks and we've seen three stores, um, basically two, a bagel store and a Dunkin' Donuts one next to the other. Stuff is just out there, and if you could imagine how big the city is, um, tons and tons of food is being thrown to us out every night. And they boast that they bake fresh daily, and that means that they waste fresh daily. So we encourage people not just take food for yourselves, but take food to share. And these freegans will feed not only themselves with tonight's treasures, the group donates food to a nearby homeless shelter. This is a bag full of donuts and muffins. I'm sure this is freshly baked today, and it's in the garbage right now. By midnight, the tour picks through a few more supermarkets' cast-offs. The sad truth is that with 50% of the food in the U.S. being wasted, for the small percentage of people who are recovering some of that food, there's more than enough to eat. Phil Rosenbaum, CNN Money, New York.